So Occupy, uh, Occupy Salem, Oregon started uh, with our march on October 10th, and that was uh, Monday, and that opened our first week of occupying the park. And then starting that next uh, Saturday and every Saturday after that for quite a while, we were doing uh, weekly marches. Uh, the best way to learn about us is on our website or by getting involved in our forums. We have meeting minutes so you can follow everything that our General Assembly and our committees are officially working on and meeting business online. Uh, and then we also have information on upcoming events. Um, I've been involved since the first night. Uh, I learned about uh, Occupy Wall Street in an a magazine called Ad Busters, which I believe was the first uh, anybody to sponsor or campaign this, and I learned about it two weeks before it took place. Um, then, you know, of course, I wanted to go out there and join them, and then I found out there was a group starting up in Salem, and I thought I'd get involved with that. And it's just been kind of I've I've talked to a lot of people, and I've heard the same experience or the the same sensation or experience that uh, you know it's it's kind of it's not what everybody has been waiting for, but it's the opportunity that everybody has been waiting for. You know, the chance to actually use our freedom of speech. <laughs> you know, there, there's been, there was a kitchen at, at the camp that was built in under an hour. It was a wooden structure with a tarp wrapped around it instead of plywood, which is what you would have needed to make it into a shed. Uh, this particular movement has really, you know, grabbed the heart and soul of the entire world as well as my own because it really does address inequality, which is at the root of all of the issues that the occupies are addressing. We have to continue to move forward. We have to continue to keep our resolve strong and keep working for the good of the future, for the good of everyone here now. Uh, how do you believe it can get there? Through continual involvement, through more people getting involved for closer to the 99% that we are here to represent, uh, for more of those people to find their voices, to become empowered, to step up, to create structures that work, structures that address human needs, structures that go beyond the, the greed and the corruption that have taken over what we have in place now with our governmental structures, our banking structures. We need to be re-envisioning what we're doing and how we're moving forward and doing that from a local standpoint, getting together and providing, being the changes we want to see in the world and getting our communities involved and active in solutions that you know can start from the grassroots and take care of those around us and at the same time address the larger uh, structural failures that are occurring around the world. And if the Occupy movement to remain a peaceful movement, to remain one geared toward uh, uh, environmental peace and justice, this would be the catalyst. This would be uh, the movement that in the next 40 to 60 years, people would applaud our efforts, you know, for what we have done. So with that, the only thing I could tell anyone who's watching this to get involved. I can hear that train a coming, said it's rolling around the bend. And I ain't seen the sunshine since. I don't know when, and I'm stuck at Folsom Prison. And time keeps dragging on. And I can hear that train a rolling, come down the sand and. Now when I was just a baby, mama told me, son, you always be a good boy and don't play with guns. So I shot a man in Reno just to watch him die. Now when I hear that whistle blow, Rich folks eating in the fancy dining house. I bet the drink.
drinking coffee and smoking big cigars. Well, I know I had it coming. They won't let me be free. And Power to the peaceful.